So if you look at the piece of brass on your left, you'll see that it has that newer crimp that uh, Lake City's been doing. In the middle you have the older Lake City crimp, okay, this is the 556 crimp. You can see that there's a little ring of brass inside there. And on the right you can see that this Lake City brass has zero crimping. In fact, it's also kind of beveled there on the primer pocket. What this video is going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove those two different kinds of crimps. What I'm going to be using to actually remove these crimps is my Lyman case prep station. Uh, this is one of those absolute musts for those of you that are going to be doing a lot of reloading, especially in bulk. Uh, you're going to want something like this to, in order to take out the tedious steps of case prep. Alright, first off we're going to go ahead and take off the newer primer crimp. Now what I like to do is I like to use the uh, actual deburring tool here that's inside uh, first just to take off the sharp edges of the crimp itself. And then we're going to use the actual uh, primer pocket reamer that comes with the, uh, the Lyman tool here, the Lyman base station. Then we're going to use the uniformer and then the pocket primer cleaner. And we'll show you the difference here. And as you can see, it's nice and clean now. And it's also beveled very well. You can see that beveling in there. And now you don't see those. You still see a little bit of where the, the tooling mark was for the crimp, but the crimping is gone. Now, we're going to do this older crimping style, which is just like a little piece of of brass, a brass ring that kind of goes in there. This one I don't need to use the deburring tool, we're just going to go right for the actual reamer itself here. There's a little bit of lube left on these cases so my hand's slipping a little bit. It's a little easier than I'm showing it. Uniformer, primer pocket cleaner, And as you can see now, it has a nice bevel. It has a nice bevel. It's also very, very clean on the inside. And that is a really good way of removing your crimps on your primer pocket. Anyway, guys, hopefully that helps you a little bit um, for those of you that are wondering how to take off your, your primer crimps, but also a uh, little demonstration of how that Lyman case prep station works. It works very, very well. Um, I really like it. It has saved my wrists a lot, especially if you try to do manual deburring and things like that. Uh, you know, you're twisting your wrists and you're, you're going to end up with some carpal tunnel, especially if you want to do hundreds of cases at a time. So anyway, guys, uh, I recommend the Lyman case prep station. There's other ones as well. There's, uh, I believe, RCBS has, has one. Um, Hornady has one. There's several out there. Uh, but I definitely recommend that you get a case prep station if you're going to be doing a lot of brass. So, all right, guys, any questions at all on what you've seen in this video, hit me up in the comments down below. Don't forget to, uh, to like the video if you do like what you see. And I really, really appreciate you guys watching. So we'll catch you in the next video. Video. See ya.